my name's Mark Woodsworth, and I'm the father of George Woodsworth. Yeah, George has a undiagnosed neurological condition. It's um, he's got a combination of diagnoses that is very, very long, but none of them connect to anything bigger. Uh, we've done a lot of work. He he has got a diagnosis of cerebral palsy, but the doctors have never found it helpful as a diagnosis tool. So it's it's sort of on the fringe. Um, he's got no suck or swallow whatsoever. Um, he's tube fed. Um, requires constant medical sort of attention, constant meds for seizures, and that's his biggest condition. It's his seizures that knock the brain back, so he makes progress, and then he can knock right back, so it is a bit of a seesaw. Um, but yeah, he's, he's very hard to explain, he's just a joy. At the time, we just sort of got the information, George's prognosis was about a year, um, then it went up to two years, and then they said not to expect school at four. When we went to Nadex that year, we just had a big meeting with the neurologist to tell us that they just sort of got to the impression that if they were right on everything they'd said, George wouldn't be with us. So there was something was wrong in the diagnosis process. So they pretty much opened everything up. They wouldn't put a new prognosis on him because they put too many on him already and it hadn't been helpful and they didn't really have an answer to what was causing all of the individual problems. Um, so yeah, they pretty much just released everything and said he's he could go longer now. And I will admit, until that stage, George had been very, being bag bed, lots of cuddles, very sort of, it was a very poorly little boy and I think that's how he was treated. We were very, very keen to try and find out how we, we helped George make that next step. ticked all the boxes. It gave George possibility of movement, even just the up and down has given him a range that's completely different mm -hmm. to any other chair. It gave him the possibility of standing out and about, whereas before he could only stand in this room, it was literally. Um, the dragon itself was quite, I know it looks bulky, but it's mm -hmm. quite small compared to yeah. sort of other chairs that are pushable and everything else to say that's got a motor and everything it's really actually for doorways and everything else it's quite small and this is a, a smallish house so it's but yeah I think it, so it, it started to tick everything and then the, the posture itself of it was perfect he sits mm. perfectly in it he's always sat to the side of the side he was getting postural scoliosis at the minute he's got a real straight spine and he's doing really well with that he like I said before, the possibility of sitting down on the floor, the possibility of coming up to desk height, the possibility of yeah. not having trays, because again, trays push everyone else that far away, and to be able to sit at the table there and Penny be there is a complete difference to being sat here. It's It did, literally ticked everything we were looking for at the time. And the other thing that, that really hit me once we'd got it, is George was just working on the up and down at the time and it gave him range of movement. We were at the zoo and Penny was on a park over there. George was next to, it was like four stacks of fowl animals, it was chickens and rabbits and Donna had put him alongside. And he tended to always look that way, just as a rule, George has always sort of looked that way. And he brought his head over to that side and slowly looked like he was gliding down the different cages sort of thing to the animals. And for the first time I was sat with Sky on the floor, Penny was over there and George was over there. And I will admit that sometimes you don't get a lot of time for Sky because you're running after George. Or if you've left him somewhere for so long, you just have that feeling of guiltness sort of thing. And you, you tend to go and find him something else to do. Whereas this was three kids doing their own thing and feeling good about it. That was the big difference. It wasn't thinking, oh crap, I need to get back to George. Oh, I've been with George a bit so that I'll run back to Penny and you were exhausted. It was literally just... He had his own space and his own, and for George that's really important to be, all these cares are done by us, all this change and everything else is done by us to have that independence now and that ability to have half an hour, 20 minutes even out in the garden or whatever where he's not got someone over his shoulder, not got someone mm -hmm. sort of coming to move him around or, or bring him out and so on, it's, it's really important. And that's 
That's one of the big things a dragon gave to us. It gave us a George. It gave us the whole picture. <laughs>